Yo, what's going on, people? Chef Kent Black here, checking in once again. We're looking at day seven officially. Um, one full week since having germinated the seeds um, initially, you know, in the water hydration. Let me go and peel the curtain back here. This is not a product placement, but I do like, you know, appreciate some bands. All right, cool. So let me get y'all a better view here. And yo, let's look at the plants. They are big today. They literally just grow overnight, like for real, it's crazy. Look at how big they are. And look at this one, that was just like a tiny, tiny little thing last night. Like literally yesterday, it was like barely poking out of the soil. And today it's like a full ass, dead ass sprout. So, um, yeah, so far nothing is happening on the far end, on the western side of the, uh, of the grow here. All right, really, so today, um, we're just looking at the plants, checking the growth. Like I said, that little bad boy is sprouting up quick. Nothing on the other end there. Um, but I am going to put some water in here, and starting tomorrow, I'm going to increase the lights and turn the second set on to try to increase the humidity and encourage some growth on those pepper seeds and cucumber seeds. Um, so yeah, like I said, I just have this like little, like, you know, water filter thing here, which I'm going to use to bottom water the plant. So I'll just come over here and pour at the, the base of the pods. And I think that's it. I don't want to give them too much. And then they're like sitting in water. Let me go and kind of shift this around a little. Make sure everything gets what it's owed and deserved. Dang. So yeah, my only concern is just that it's, you know, absorbs this damn water. Oh, my peppers to sprout, y'all. Like, these tomatoes are great, and I'm gonna love them all the same, but I don't, I'm not sure about these tomato seeds, actually. These might have come in, like, a grow-your-own-tomatoes kit, which is why they may have taken so easily. Um, but, um, I'ma love them all the same. But give me some peppers, y'all. We'll check in later but yeah bottom water tonight and um tomorrow i'll just increase the lights like i said and we'll see where we at but yeah man literally this little bad boy right here was like it was just a little baby baby shark last night and today they're big like i mean these things are big they're literally almost touching the lid of the grow roof like when they're under the shit under the under the little top lid. It's like, they are they are so big right now. I'm almost like about to put them into a, um, like separate pods and like separate them here. And um, yeah, like get them going officially. That's two, four, six, seven. Yeah, dang, that's almost one entire box here will just be tomatoes and those over there will be the peppers and cucumber maybe I would love to almost put two cucumbers in each box or one cucumber in each box to see if they grow well in each um, environment shared because I do want to share them um, I have a limited space so I don't want to do two like crazy opposites of fruits and vegetables 
um, but I think cucumbers, peppers, and tomatoes could share an aquatic grow space. Drop a comment below. But just to put into perspective, like in the course of a week, they have grown quite a bit. Like, let me see. I can show you. Like for real, they almost touched the lid now. Look at them. So close. <laughs> but yeah. Cool. Alright y'all. Talk to you later.